Are there any further member statements? The Honourable Colm again. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I know it's been a long week, so I'll try and keep this brief. Um, it's been um, quite a big challenge the last month or so uh, throughout my electorate. Um, and something that seems to be popping up now more than ever is obviously as we get closer um, to um, slowly bringing in all these restrictions and things are starting to get a little bit more difficult, particularly um, for industry. But there is a right way and a wrong way to go about it, in my view. Um, and we've seen uh, a public reaction to a proposed roster from Woodside earlier this week, which was uh, two weeks isolation, 12 weeks on a vessel or a rig which is out in the middle of the ocean, um, and then four weeks off. And that was dubbed uh, a suicide roster right across the media. Um, and I think Woodside copped a fair hiding on that, um, rightly so. Um, I think that uh, in consultation with their employees and with the unions involved, they would have got a better outcome. But instead, they chose to push ahead um, and propose something that's as outrageous as that. Considering where we've come from over the last three to four years in discussions around mental health, FIFOs um, and suicide in the FIFO industry, to see him jump so quickly to a roster that big was just absolutely um, disgraceful. But I've discovered that someone's beaten Woodside um, in this space, and it doesn't surprise me who the company is. When I was a union official in the Northwest, I started organising Sino Cape Preston. And there's an employer out there called CPPC, Cape Preston Pork Company, an absolute di disgrace of an employer who um, totally throws out any rules when it comes to dealing with their workforce. They don't care um, when it comes to the people working on the tools who are building, building this business up um, and shipping out the ore and putting money in the pockets of investors. They don't seem to care. So what they've now decided to do, um, the current roster that employees are on, and this is the workers, um, was two and one. Um, which is quite a heavy roster anyway. I'm not a big fan of two and one. I think two and two is probably the preferred roster. And just remember that Rio Tinto and other mining companies now have switched to a two and two roster. Um, so from a one and one or a nine days on, five days off, they've gone to two, two weeks on, two weeks off. And that's to stop travel and make it a bit easier to keep people isolated and less likelihood that COVID-19 may pop up. But no, Cape Preston Poor Company had to go one step further. So they went from their two, on, uh, two weeks on, one week off, to two weeks on of days, two weeks on of nights, and then two, days, uh, two weeks off. So we've doubled the roster, we've put them on two weeks worth of um, night shift and two weeks worth of day shift. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, this company already absolutely lashes their employees because they do a 14 hour day every day for two weeks because they've got travel of an hour to get from the camp down to the site. That's not incorporated into their work hours, by the way. That's added on into their time off. So their time off is an hour travel to the port in the morning and an hour travel back at night time. So they end up doing a 14 hour day. They've now implemented, without, um, I believe, consultation with employees, four weeks straight with two weeks off. Two weeks of nights, two weeks of days. 14 hour days. This is what I call a suicide roster. Now, not only have they done this, but they've got their supervisors and management who are not doing high risk work, who are in offices and air conditioned cars, who have gone from a nine days on, five days off roster to a two weeks on, two weeks off roster. Absolutely disgraceful. They, they, they go and they segregate their workers and they say that the office staff and the management, no worries, we're going to put you on the nice two week on, two week off roster, but for all the workers, we're going to chuck you on a suicide roster. It's an absolute disgrace. I'm going to, I've only found this out late this afternoon. I'm going to be following this up and I don't think it should be accepted. We need to understand we are in trying times. I get that. I absolutely understand that. But it is important that employers understand also that the workers are the reason that you're still producing 
and we've got to protect them through this process. We've got to make sure that mental health doesn't spiral. We've got to make sure that workers get a voice on ho h and We've got to make sure they get a voice on roster changes. And we've also got to make sure that we don't segregate workers based upon um, management or worker. You know, and not to mention that the tugs that are working in the port through TAMS, they're on an equal time roster as well, four weeks on, four weeks off. So this poor class of workers at CPPC have been downtrodden and kicked to the curb while everyone else is on good rosters. It's an absolute disgrace and I think CPPC should be ashamed of themselves. I think that Sino should really take a long hard look at their contractors. That's the other problem. We constantly hear the big clients like BHP and Rio Tinto and Woodside talk about how great their work is, how great their policies are, but then their subcontractors, they couldn't care less about what they do. And that's when you see the drop in standard. That's when you see the bad suicide rosters like CPPC have done here. I think it's, it's got to stop. And I, I'm really concerned that this is one I've heard of. How many have I not heard of? Particularly in the, the gold industry, the iron ore industry, the oil and gas industry. These industries are going to be under a lot of pressure. We are really struggling at the moment um, out there to try and get a grasp on where it's all heading. And it's these little companies like CPPC who just string their employees up and throw darts at them should be out there and shamed, in my view. So I'm going to follow this up and I think that uh, a roster like that should be condemned for what it is, a suicide roster.